Alright, today I'll be showing you how to repair your accelerator cable. Um, chances are if you're driving down the road and your gas pedal goes straight to the floor and doesn't come back up and your accelerator or your RPMs go up, chances are you probably broke your um, accelerator cable. As you can see right here, um, the part of my cable that broke was the end that hooks up to the barrel clamp of the carburetor. Um, usually tends to break um, between the flexible, um, I guess, flexible hose between the um, where it goes over the axle, but I'm not quite sure why I broke at this spot. Now, for this procedure, you will have to jack up the car. Um, this is the place where you want to put the um, jack. Um, just make sure you put it right um, where the transmission mounts. Um, don't make make sure it um, doesn't hit the engine because as you lift it, it may slide back, and you don't want that to hit the engine because it'll ruin the connection between the engine and the transmission. Now you only need to, hey Sadie, you only need to uh, break the lug nuts on the um, pat on the driver's side because um, that's the side where the accelerator cable does run. Um, as far as cars that are right hand drive I'm not sure if that changes but as for the left hand drive cars it is on the driver's side now that the now that the wheel is able to come off uh, you are now able to jack up the car um, just make sure that you do loosen up the lug nuts before you jack it up otherwise you're gonna have to lower it back down again with your beetle up in the air it is now safe to um, chalk the front wheel so it doesn't move and also put the jack sands underneath. You don't need to put the jack sands really high. You only need it so you can be able to see what you're doing with the wheel off. The best place to put the jack stands is where these torsion bars are right here. I'm not sure if that's the correct term, um, but that's where everybody in the club seems to put them, and that's where I started putting them. Um, you don't want to use the original jack points. Um, on my car, you can't see them because it's too rusty. Um, but you, your best bet is to put them, put the jack stands um, on this torsion bar thing. With the jack stands in place and the front wheels chocked, um, you can now slowly lower the car onto the jack stands. With the car resting on the jack stands, I usually keep the jack pumped up um, just in case something does go wrong. Um, that the jack is there to keep it from falling any further. You can also place uh, wood blocks underneath your running boards um, but I just use the jack in the back now down in here um, there's limited viewing with the with the camera um, you can see part of the clutch cable where the wing nut is on the end um, beyond that beyond that clutch cable is a black cable that screws into a connector that goes through the firewall through the um, doghouse cooler um, that's where the the accelerator cord comes up through now if you go to the front of the car um, just pull the acceler accelerator pedal forward um, you'll see where the cable connects to the um, part that the gas pedal um, pushes down if it looks like this then it's correct if this were to be flip-flopped, so the wire is coming across, that's the incorrect way to um, to attach the cable. Um, now we're going to pull the cable out. Um, if you were like me and you greased, greased it a lot when you put it in, um, it's going to be pretty dirty when you um, pull the cable out. Um, so if you're on your way to work uh, or you have a hot date or something, uh, just bring a rag with you so you can clean the cable off while you pull it out because it is going to be pretty greasy. Now that you had the cable out, it's best that you um, check it with the other cable. Um, if you don't have anybody to hold the cables for you, um, what I've done, I've kind of stuck them in this hole in the bumper. Um, and then you can, if you pull them tight, like this you can see that they're pretty close if they look like they're a lot longer or the ones a lot longer than the other 
chances are you got the wrong cable or you possibly got a cable for a um, Volkswagen bus. Um, so right now we're going to um, install the cable. Sometimes you don't need to jack up the car to put the cable in but it's best to do it anyway just in case you do need to um, get underneath the car. It just saves you some time and trouble. I know the first time I installed a cable I didn't know what I was doing so I was up underneath the car trying to find where the cables were going and um, I couldn't find the right documentation that I wanted um, but I did eventually find out how to do it and this is basically how I did it so here we go now just to be on the safe side this time I ordered um, an accelerated cable from Germany um, the first one I ordered was probably from um, from Brazil or Japan uh, I just spent the extra money to get the German one this time so hopefully this one works out the last one it lasted a year but it could have been just due to my um, inexperience with the Volkswagens for lack of better words um, so here we go now if you're in the front of the car and you're trying to find where the cable came out of I know the first time I was messing with it, I couldn't find where the cable went back in. Um, this is also good to make notes while you take things apart. Uh, a lot of the guys in the Volkswagen Club, they've been telling me, you gotta take notes, you gotta write things down, you can't just take things apart without remembering where they go. Um, but this is where the cable will go in. Um, it's actually this little nubby thing right here. But make sure you grease it as soon as it goes into the hole. Um, because I can't really prop up the camera well, um, I won't be able to show video of it once I put it in. So, I'll do my best to take video of it while I put it in. But you want to make sure you grease the whole cable as it goes into the hole. So basically you want to just grease it as you slide the cable into the, the um, into the accelerator cable tube, or whatever it's called. Um, you want to try to make sure you get as much grease on as possible. More is never enough. Now this is the part that's very crucial to uh, installing this accelerated cable right. First I'm going to show the wrong way um, to hook it up. Just so you guys know what to look for when you're installing your cable. That is the wrong way to do it. Hold on one second. I mean you can't really see it. Um, but uh, there we go. What's wrong about it is the cable is crossing over the um, lever for the for the gas pedal. Um, that's wrong. That's going to put stress on that cable. Um, this is the wrong way to do it. Okay, the wrong way. So make sure you don't do it this way. I can't stress that enough. So we're after fighting with the cable for about. 15 minutes maybe. Uh, I finally got the cable in the right way. As you can see it doesn't cross the um, as you can see it doesn't cross the uh, this part of the gas pedal um, so the wire isn't like crossing um, but that's how it should go. The, um, the part that goes in should be on the left side of the um, metal part of the, the gas pedal. Well, now comes the fun part where you have to connect it to the carburetor, and that's only hoping that the cable made it all the way back. So let's see what goes on. Now, after I'm removing the heater hose, and you see that the wire, um, the w accelerator cable, isn't like down, like down on the ground. That's probably a good sign. So there's like a 50% chance that the cable made it through the doghouse up to where it needs to go. Uh, in my case, it didn't. Um, it stopped. It went through the firewall, but it didn't make its way all the way up through the the tube in the in the doghouse. So let's see how we fix.